Hey FlossTube, it's Lee from Creatively on Sunday 30 August with FlossTube number 40. Um, it's a lovely day here today and but it's a bit windy. Um, I did want to get out and do some weed whacking after this because I still haven't done it. And my weeds, part of my weeds are quite long. Um, long story. Um, but if it's windy, then they blow, or the weeds blow around, you know, the clippings, and that's, you know, not appreciated by the neighbours, really. Uh, we'll see what happens. But um, for anyone who stumbled upon my video for the first time, this is a real cash kind of YouTube channel about cross-stitch and a little bit about my life. If that's not your thing, that's fine. Have a great day. Wear your mask. Move on. Um, for anyone who's come back or... Um, wants to hang around. I appreciate you, and um, I hope you. In, I hope you get a little bit of levity from my rather disjointed, unrehearsed, don't really give a shit way of doing things. Um, if I'm a bit out of it, it's a pop to tramadol. I hurt my back a little. Well, I'm not really, I, no, I haven't hurt my back. My back is sore. I've done something, but it's more likely just slept weird or something. But I do have a long-term, on again, on again, love-hate relationship with my back, um, and I can't take NSAIDs. So, um, due to a gastric bleed a number of years ago when I was long-term on Voltaren, so. Pretty much that means, um, you know, no ibuprofen, no naproxen, no diclofenac, any of those things. So basically, it's um, paracetamol, morphine, or tramadol. Tramadol's kind of in the middle, right? Um, but it might make me a bit ugh. <laughs> you probably won't even notice. But if I twinge, it's because it's sore and I moved weird. But I probably need to get out and do a bit of exercise. Not sure weed whacking is the right kind of exercise, given it's that sideways thing. But that's what I need to do. So anyway, cheers to that. Having coffee today with oat milk. And I even put a bit of froth on it. That's a heart back to one of my earlier videos for anyone who's still here. I got told I pronounce froth very Glaswegian. Anyway, um, what else has been going on? I uh, worked from home all of last week, a couple of days, took a couple of days off because I just was exhausted. I think I just, I think I might have been suffering from a little virus, but not the COVID. I even had a second phone consult with um, a GP. My GP was away, but, and they sent me for more blood tests, but they all seemed to, I've come back normal apart from being a little bit low in iron and probably just the virus. But anyway, that's fine. They didn't send me for the COVID test or anything so I didn't have any of those symptoms. But it was an okay week. Talked to Dad on Friday. Today's Sunday. I talked to Dad on Friday and um, he's doing pretty good actually. He said he's feeling pretty good. The irony is um, he got a call from a cardiac nurse from Waikato Hospital following up on his one of his uh, follow up appointment following up on a follow up appointment from a couple of weeks ago um, checking if basically saying was was he able to come over on the 15th of September to have his procedure which is the cardiac ablation I finally worked out what that is and he's like oh I thought it would be three or four months and they said, hmm, your last, your, last, your last ECG wasn't very good. You're actually very ill. You've gone, congratulations, you go to the top of the list. So um, basically they said he must, he's got to do nothing in the next 14 days, as in do nothing, don't be a hero, don't try and do anything strenuous, be, live a very quiet, simple life, aka just stay alive for two more weeks. So he was a bit, shit, okay, um, right, so, I mean, what are you going to do, right? I guess, and this is all to do with the atrial fibrillation, so his heart, 
pacing, not like too fast and too irregular and uh yeah, so my understanding is um it, well he's like I should feel better straight away and I'm like mm, what I've read is it can take a couple of weeks for the arrhythmia to still settle down. I guess you're putting your heart under some trauma, right? I don't know. But anyway, it's a it's a local anesthetic. He just has to stay not in hospital, but stay in a hotel the night before and the night after, uh, with his, someone who was driving him. Um, yeah, in a couple of weeks, having that done. So, moral of the story is, if you if you get sick, get sick enough that they fix you straight away. I don't know. I mean, it's after all I've been through, and after all he's been through, it's just like at least. Hopefully this is going to help, right? And he is starting to feel a little bit better and get a little bit more energy and be able to do a little bit more. But this, you don't do any of that. So, yeah, it's not great news. But the fact that they hopefully can make it better, if not, you know, completely fix him, is good news. So we're celebrating the fact that once again, his bad news has come with a silver lining. Now it's not three or four months, it's two weeks. So yay dad. Um, so then it's his birthday two weeks later. That's when I hope hope to go out for a week and spend some time with him. And you know, if this all goes well, then he may actually feel even better than he does right now. Which will be really, really awesome. Um, so yeah, we're heading into September. September's the get up and go, sort of the... Traditionally, when, um, like here, right, it's getting close to spring and people start talking about Christmas parties and socialising and daylight saving starts again, so we have longer, e you know, light, lighter evenings. So I don't know how that's going to work this year with the old COVID thing where it's, who knows where we'll be, right? We're currently at level two. We find out on the 6th of September how long we stay at level two or whether it changes. Um, at this stage the ballet Venus Rising has been rescheduled twice already. It's scheduled for the 11th but if we're at level two it won't happen so I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird year. Um, just not planning too far advance I guess. Stitching. So what a new start. I didn't feel like, I felt like something different. I felt like something I could stitch on while I'm online doing um, conference calls and stuff. Because, you know, when you're working from home, you're on the phone a lot. And a lot of the times you're just listening. And uh, rather than doodling with a pen and wasting ink and paper and burying my notes under scribbles, why not doodle with a needle? So I've been talking recently about starting doing something of black work um, and then I'm like and what should I stitch it on I just decided look I've got a piece of 18 count Ada um, and why not just do something on that so I decided to join the um, Peppermint Purple Year of Black Work Sal. This was week uh, week 34. They just, I don't know what their name is, but the Peppermint Pur Purple person um, releases the chart updated with the, so you don't only have to look at one week, you don't have to go back through 34 weeks to stitch it, which is kind of cool. It's a little much appreciated for people who are late joining this like me. Week 35 came out last week, which I haven't printed that yet or had a look at it um, and week 36 I guess will come out this week coming I'm just I'm just doing it on 18, 18 count antique white Ada with the call for DMC because I think it's really really pretty um, it goes down to the purples and blues um, because it's on 18 count I'm just doing one strand for the DMC uh, 310 outlines rather than two. If it was on 14 count, I'd probably do two strands for the outlines, but I didn't. And I stitched on this on, started this on Monday, and I stitched it on Monday and Tuesday. And the, I haven't ironed anything, my back's too sore, I don't feel like getting the ironing board out. That's where I got to, so, what's that, one, two, five, nine, 
14, so 14 weeks stitched. Um, yeah, I think it's really pretty and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just enjoying doing it. So yeah, this has become my um, video conference doodling because the majority of the patterns are quite easy to rem to memorize um, especially when you've stitched like for this one here it looks quite complicated but once I'd stitched to here like I went I went this way then I know that the rest of it is a repeat so as long as you got that one right you can just make your way along um, these ones this one easy to memorize that one's easy to memorize that was the you know the smaller ones are pretty easy so I find them very simple to just memorize those blocks um, and yeah quite easy to stitch so that was a fun little something new to work on um, you know it's nice when you can just use something from stash and make something pretty um, yeah and it's essentially pretty full coverage given uh, most of the patterns are quite dense so and it's yeah, stitching up really nicely so I'm very happy with it um, so it was a new start and I still haven't decided on what count I want to start my because I think the next one I want to do big project I'll, my, the big black work project I want to start is Save the Stitches by Liz Almond um, what's your website called? A Black Work Journey or something? Uh, and I printed that off ages ago, like, you know, two years ago. Um, I haven't got a fabric yet, so it doesn't, you know, not in a hurry, right? Not like I've got nothing to do, but I do want to, that one I'll have to get fabric for because it's quite big. So what else did I work on? So, so yeah, I really didn't do any stitching proper cross stitching until Friday and I picked up my Quaker Seasons of Friendship which I hadn't stitched since I was when I was in Kawara and I'd run out of the red um, and some of you may recall that I'm stitching this with my own I picked up one of the stitch palette um, it's called Red Blossoms from stitchpalettes.com and I subbed the, was it 3799 I'm sure, that's the dark grey right, yeah 3799 I, I swapped for the Gentle Art Soot because I'm using that as at least 50%, 60% of the design and I'm stitching it on um, 40 count fog linen from a from Country Stitch and started this, this is my January birthday start quite keen to finish it on my birthday as in I'll put the last stitch in on my birthday so I'm going to get it mostly finished so that I can finish in January which um, meant I needed to get a bit of a wriggle on um, September is sampler September. Most of my stitching art is samplers, so that's not hard to do. But I did pick this up Friday and Saturday, and I gave it a jolly good bash. So here, sorry, again, no ironing. Can't see. That's where I'm at with it. So I'm nearly done with the bottom half. Um, pretty much that bottom... Uh, I had stitched across to here, but I'd run out of red, and that's where I stopped. Since then, I've picked this week. I picked that up. I stitched up in this way, um, and I stitched this one, and this one, and here. And then I realised I had a mistake somewhere. So basically, I found out where the error is. I've got an extra row. Um, so this is a row wider, a, a stitch wider. And I wanted, I needed this to, you know, finish on the edge. So when I realised I had an extra row out somewhere, I, that's where I came up this way. Um, basically, back here, 
uh, here. This bloody one's not symmetrical. There's one of these. This is meant to be three stitches across here. Here it's four, and here it was meant to be three, and I stitched four. So my row's right out here, which means the center is one stitch that way. So all I have to do is make sure, so I'm happy with the symmetry, is that when I get to the similar sort of motif up here where there's the two split and I've crossed the half seasons is make sure and I've written an arrow on it stitch it one stitch this side so as long as I as long as I line up as long as I line up here and I line up here and at the top and that center is in the same place I don't really care where they are, where they are. so I've just got one largish motif in here peacock and a couple of little sprinkles so probably I could finish it that tonight if I, yeah I probably will, I'll finish it tonight if my back's not too sore and um, that's yeah, so nearly halfway, um, there is quite a lot of stitching, quite a lot of stitching, um, but it is, I think it's looking fabulous, I'm loving it. And I think I've got enough red in the bottom, so this one is going to be done in the in the dark. Um, and then when I come up here, I'll make sure I offset the colour because I don't want it. I want the overall edges lined up, but I want the red and orange kind of randomly scattered. So, yay! Um, and my I'm also for the crowns. The crowns are the lightest grey, but also adding a bit of krennic in. So. And I've lost the stupid cap off it. I think it's 11, 011 blending filament. I feel like 11 stuck on my head. Have I written it down anywhere? Of course not. No, doesn't matter. Um, that was a leftover from probably from my Jester's project actually, way back in the day. So, don't know where the cap was. It could be done back in the couch, but I don't really care. So yeah, that will be a focus during September. So I think it's going to need, I'm going to need to work on it for at least five, probably at least a week. I've got September, October, November, December. It's going to need at least a week every month um, I'm get, to get it finished in time for my birthday. So that will be a focus. It might get a little bit more time in September. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so those are the two projects that I'm working on that I worked on today, this week. So it's just, um, yeah, that and my a year of black work. So yeah, you can find this. There's a Facebook group. Um, if you look up Peppermint Purple on Facebook, um, there's a Facebook group you can ask to join and then the files are available on the Facebook group. And there's some rules, so follow the rules. Um, and then also, if you have a look at her website, I think it's a her, I'm guessing it's a her, um, Look at her website, which there are links from, we can Google it, peppermintpurple.com or something. She has some really, really fantastic black work designs. If, you, if you're someone who likes, um, she has states and countries. So she's, I think she's got the 50 states, the United States, which is New Zealand. I don't look for Australia because I don't, but there's definitely New Zealand with different black work designs. There are florals, there's some really cool bees um, and butterflies and um, then some more symmetrical graphic-y kind of ones. There's a whole couple of different alphabet, like you can, you can get the L or an M or, but there's a couple of different designs with that. There's some pride ones, heaps and heaps of designs and of course PDFs, they're not very expensive. Um, so if, you're, if other people are interested, yeah, just look at her website, Peppermint Purple. There are some neat little yeah, inexpensive PDFs, some not massive projects, so um, yeah, cool eh? Thanks to various people who mentioned Peppermint Purple because I hadn't really stumbled upon it um, and I appreciate it. 
So what else? Haul? Nope. Um, I'm pretty close to deciding my fortnight fabric parcels lost, the last thing leaving Vietnam on the 9th of June. I mean, it might turn up one day. I'm probably not going to follow it up, really. Um, it was mostly a couple of things that I won in one of the giveaways, and I was going to be re—I was going to be re-gifting them as part of um, a mystery box exchange. We we're going to do as the retreat. Even if I was to like, I'm not going to ask them to resend free shit that they already sent. It's just not that big a deal. Um, there was a piece of fabric I had ordered through them that I was looking forward to getting, a piece of linen. They said, well, if you're sending me something free all this way, let me buy something as well, you know, support them. And so that, I'm a little bit disappointed that that's I just, it's too hard. And it may turn up. And then um, I got in contact with Nancy Turner from Victorian Motto because my shipping still said it was waiting for the label. And she had sent a message out saying, look, let her know if she, we thought things, if things hadn't been tracked after the 15th, and it was like the, tw what, what's it today, 24th, 20, no, 30th. Um, so I sent her a screenshot and she said, yeah, it looks like it's lost. So she's going to resend. I mean, the reason I followed up with her, I'm presuming that she can put a claim in with the post, uh, USPS, which will be a real nuisance for her, but... For me, it's $140 worth of stuff. So the Fortnite Fabrics was like $30. And, you know, um, but this is like two months of the two club kits. And um, anyway, she's going to resend. So that's really kind of her. Um, so I know it's a real nuisance, but she's, she thinks it's lost as well because it hasn't actually been tracked. She just had the shipping label created which happens through PayPal that notification and then it's just anyway it's a bit of a pain but oh well so hopefully one day <laughs> given that next week I'm paying for the fourth month so and she'll be shipping another two months worth and I'm just oh god I hope it doesn't go hmm I think the other option would be just to cancel, which I don't want to do. But I, I'm only a member because I actually really love your fabric and floss and I use it, right? So, um, I don't know. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a quick little whip parade, remind people of where I'm at with stuff. Um, I'll roughly do them, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so it's probably starting, no particular order. So sample of September as well, we'll pick up 4020. I do have that error that I found. Now I'm usually a frog it straight away, but I found it after I'd stopped working on it, but I do have to fix up a little bit that um, needs to be frogged and a missing stitch, but yeah, just down here I need to down here's missing the little stemmy things under here but that'll just take five minutes to fix so so yeah long dog samplers by hoity uh, toity um where's my little card so i'm stitching this on 36 count um fee jawa from country stitch 36 count linen uh and a mixture of cool so my own conversion some of the dmc's called so I'm using Stitching in DMC and Silks for You 070 is the black that was kindly gifted to me by Barb. Thank you again, Barb. Um, and the DMC is a conversion. It's not all the called for or the equivalent of, I think it's chartered in. It's chartered in Gentle Arts and DMC, but I converted some of the DMC. Ugh, that's so eloquent. So yeah, I think it's looking fantastic. So I'll pick that up in September and do a little bit more progress on that. Again, start for September. Um, and then I've got Halloween Queer Car from Lila Studio, in this chart I exchanged with Tara, the 805 stitcher. Tara, we haven't seen a video from you for a while. 
And last video she had, because she's sort of known for her starts and her stash building, but she had a few little finishes and an FFO or two. So, Tara, where's the next video? She's probably been too busy making bags because she um, hooked up with a, a couple of peeps and sold quite a few bags. So I swapped, don't remember, HL's moth? The chart for that with, and she sent me this. And I'm stitching this on 40 count Halloween smoke linen from Country Stitch. It's a theme. I pretty much mostly am stitching on Country Stitch or Victoria Motto because that's sort of. Those are the two clubs I belong to. But I did order this fabric for this one. Started on this one in April. And I'm stitching this on a combina a, a semi-conversion of um, the all the blacks are as called for fancy flosses or DMC and the pretty colours are mostly are a combination of um, what the heck's that name? Um, Nina's Threads or DMC. And this one also has, I mean Quakers don't get on. Obviously I just can't count Quakers it turns out. There are counting errors in here. So again I'm working my way up and across because it's in the middle and then it's easy enough to shuffle things sideways a little bit but I wanted the edges to line up so Last time I picked this up I worked my way all up here and up here and I got quite a bit done and um, it's sweet. So again, sample September, that'll be on the list to get progress on. And I start, oh yeah, April. So I enjoy that. What else have I got? Um, you were seeing this recently, <clears throat> which is Berry Bowl Sampler, the collaboration between um, the Scarlet House and Hut String Samplery. Uh, I'm stitching it on one piece of fabric and I'm going to change what it says in the middle because I'm not stitching it with a friend and swapping half and sewing them together. Haven't done anything since you last saw it. Um, where's my little card? So, Berry Bowl Sampler, 36 count heritage sampler linen from Victorian Motto. And I am using a, again, I'm searching this pretty much from stash. I don't, I think the mostly the greens and golds are as called for and everything else is a, pretty much everything else is a conversion to either Victorian Motto, Motto, um, other over dyes, that is not the right colour. It's definitely greener than that. That looks really grey. But yeah, I think it's really pretty. Um, and I've got a couple of... The black is uh, Black Sea from Valdani. Because I had that. In my stash. Um, <clears throat> so that's a sampler. Sampler September. So pretty much we'll be picking up all of these samplers. Um, I'm going to try and prioritise uh, the Quaker. Uh, that, the Quaker Seasons of Friendship because I want to get that finished for my birthday. What else have I got? Um, so sorry Tracy, your I'm searching this for a friend, it's from a cat or an art kit, um, enjoying the summer's evening. Um, but yeah, sorry Tracy, you probably won't see this such in September either. I'm just going to run out of time. I know I won't have enough time to, um, unless I feel like stitching a great wad of blue. So yeah, searching this for a friend because she loved it and she would never stitch it probably. And it is quite big, it's on the everything called for. It's, 30, it's a 30 count quite e open linen um, and it's actually stitched one over one so it's very gappy but that's I guess to give it that watercolour effect and it is quite pretty so I 
think I've got one more gull down the below her feet. And then I'll have all the gulls. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Oh no, there are two more gulls. Huh. There are yeah. All oh, right, there's another gull coming in here. I don't know that you even give a shit, right? And then there's one under her feet down here. So, um, the thing is that the, the, I'm stitching it bottom down and then I'll, I'm stitching it upside down. So I stitch up, so I'm stitching like this. Then I'll swap, spin it and then I'll stitch up. There's heaps less stitching on this half. Like, there's nothing here. So this is definitely the heavy part of the chart, so once I've done this, like, you know, I'm pretty much it's stitched from along here and down, this will be like, ah, oh, five minutes, right? Um, and I've got to keep reminding myself, and I think I'm going to run out of blue, but there's hardly any blue above, there's only a thin layer of these blues here, like, so I'm not going to run out, I'll be fine, but I was... I kind of forgot that when I was stitching it and freaking out a week or so ago when I'm like, I'm going to run out of blue. It is DMC, but it, I know it's DMC because it says in the pattern that it's DMC, but there are no numbers and it's really, really old, so there probably would have been some dialogue issues matching it. I would have been able to match it. It would have worked okay. but Okay. It's all my samplers because, of course, you've already seen that today. Um... I've got this, which is um, Fractal 95 bookmark from Cross Stitch Collectibles. Um, every month, if you're not familiar, every month. Okay, they do a whole lot of, this company does a whole lot of um, full coverage designs. They do have a whole section of arts, so, so works of art that have been converted. So similar to a Hade or what have you. Um, but they also have a whole section on fractals. They do these big mandalas and other, you know, very large, full coverage um, graphic designs. Every month they, on the f they release a free chart for what they call a bookmark. Essentially this is a section from a larger piece. Um, I've stitched one other and this is my second one. Um, and these are big enough for me to know that I wouldn't want to stitch the whole thing. <laughs> I'm quite happy with the little bookmark. And I'm stitching these on 18 count Ada. Um, and they're just a nice little change from samplers. Sometimes I feel like confetti. And, you know. Uh, so I've just made my little floss cards. It looks chaotic, but it works for me. Um... Yes, they're available free for a month. They do also have them available for sale after the month is up. So if you fell in love with this and couldn't live without it, it is available for a small amount, like $7 or something, $6, I'm not sure. Not very much. Um, PDFs. I've only got one more whip. Fairy Square, it takes a village collection from Carolyn Manning Designs, 28 count summer coral from Country Stitch. So this is on Lugana. Looks like this. Uh, why am I stitching this? Because it's bright and pretty and um, it is more, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. But um, it's the sort of thing I'd probably make into a cushion. And I haven't done very much and I really, really do actually, I was thinking, oh, do I want to finish it? But I really, really like it. So I will pick it up again. It's just, I have too many other things. So I've showed it this way because I started at the bottom. Um, and that's it. So it looks really dark. That's actually a tealy colour. And it is, that looks so... That roof is <laughs> a completely different colour than that. Anyway, um, it's pretty. I think I made some changes. I uh, cocked up the roof, so... It doesn't really matter. It's the sort of thing where you go, eh, I didn't follow the chart. There's something different on the roof that I didn't... Oh, it wasn't... Okay. It's not massive. Those X's, the dots in the middle were supposed to be a different colour. Who cares? I think they're supposed to be yellow. Like, it's meant to be little... It's actually meant to be little daisies. 
and um, I didn't, I didn't, I just, just stitched them like that. It's fine. So yeah, it's cute. But it's actually quite big. It's lots of stitching. So I really, really should pick it up and then try and get that bottom finished. This is not a sampler though. So I don't know when that's going to fit in. It may have to wait until... You know what? September starts on Tuesday. Maybe I'll give it a bit of love tomorrow or Monday just to put a little, little stitch in it. Um, I don't know what I'll do with that one when it's finished. I think I said I might make it into a cushion. I might find someone to give it away to. I might sell it. I don't know. It's just one that I want to stitch because I think it's fun. Fun to do little mushrooms with roofs and shit on them. So... So yeah, that's my whip parade. So not a lot. How many was that? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven whips, but one of them is for a friend. So six whips for me. Not too bad, right? So supper September. Very tempted to start another one, and that might be. I might start arcade. watch this space um because I just I just want to I want to use that silk on that fabric that might happen so I might have a new start in September which will be arcade and then um that'll give me yeah two long dogs on the go but one is that mono what do you call it that kind of Dutch style and one is the full coverage traditional um sampler so they're quite different, like they're very different in their style. Anyway, that's all I got. So I'm going to make some bread, get some bread ready, maybe go and borrow the weed whacker from my friend and do half an hour outside and have a little break and see how my back is. Other than, in the meantime, I hope everybody keeps well and is enjoying their stitching. And as always, don't let your needles rust. Ciao.